My name is Evan Reese, and I'm the chair of technology in the workplace on Philadelphia Sherm's Thought Leadership Committee. And I also run DownToTheHire.com. The question, are you a talent mixologist? Or for that matter, am I a talent mixologist? Popped into my head the other day when I was reading Peter Capoe's book, Talent On Demand. Capoe starts off by focusing on the fact that talent management is not an end unto itself. The point of talent management is to really help the organization achieve its goals, which, last time I checked, usually has something to do with making money, being, or well, staying or becoming more and more profitable. Before the 1980s, the organization man approach reigned when it came to talent management. This involved sophisticated forecasting, internal training and development programs, promoting and hiring from within. This kind of all came crashing down once the 80s hit, and markets just became much more unpredictable. That's when the just-in-time approach came onto the scene, really in reaction to the failed organization man approach. This involved much more outside hiring and a hands-off management approach. This too also failed due to unpredictable markets. So talent on demand calls for a much more intelligent approach to talent management. You know, really determining what's the right mix of internal development and outside hiring. This all highlights a new human resource management skill that I'm going to call talent mix management. Because now, as a human resource manager, you have four options to consider. You have internal development, external hiring, contract labor, and you also have something called micro, I'm going to call micro contract labor. We're going to get into that a little bit more. But don't you see this new field of study emerging called talent mixology? And I'm not talking about happy hour. So a word about micro contract labor. It's also known as microtasking, or as Harvard Business Review called it, hyperspecialization. They actually had an article called The Age of Hyperspecialization. And they defined this hyperspecialization as breaking down work previ previously done by one person into more specialized pieces done by several people. So two websites have emerged. One which HBR featured in their article called Top Coder, which breaks down IT projects into very small discrete pieces that they can then offer up to a global network of almost 400,000 developers to accomplish. Amazon has also launched their own tool called Mechanical Turk, which lets you post discrete tasks, for example, write a 140 character description of this image, or please edit this paragraph of content I've written. So you can post these tasks, uh, and they're typically knowledge-based tasks, and you can post them with a reward, which usually ranges between a cent and one cent and one dollar. Amazon calls these human intelligent tasks, or HITS. So you really have access, through Mechanical Turk, to a global microtasking workforce. So while microtasking is new, I really do believe that this is an emerging ingredient that you really need to consider adding to your talent mix. So the question is, are you ready to become a talent mixologist? Are you a talent mixologist already? Comment on this post and let us know how you're seeking to find the right talent mix.